Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video. Now today I'm introducing something very new and very different to the channel. I'm introducing a new series where I have two different countries and I pit them off against each other to the battle of the death. Okay, not battle of the death, just to see who wins LucaVision. So let's break it down now. In this series, I'm going to be looking at 2010 to 2020 from two different countries competing in Eurovision. I'll be going through each of the years with each different country and I'll be deciding which out of the two I prefer to see which officially is my favourite country of the decade. And today I'm not doing things easily. I'm not going in by halves. I'm jumping straight in and I'm pitting Norway and Sweden off against each other. Two of my most favouritest countries in Eurovision ever. Why do I do this to myself? If we could just have a mixture of the two and have Swarway or Nuiden, I mean, I'd be very happy. Who knows what's gonna happen, folks? I'll decide which one from each year that I prefer and have an overall score out of 10 for each country. Talk about controversial, these two are like two of the strongest countries in Eurovision. And I'm not gonna have long to decide. After I've had a little refresher of each year, I'm gonna have five seconds to decide which one I like best from that year. And disclaimer, before anybody says to me, that was so different from what you said in your top. But in your top 41, Norway was before Sweden that year. Opinions change and we've had enough time now between 2010 and this year for songs to really settle in my brain and I can decide for which one I actually prefer now. I can't cope with the controversy. <laughs> So, let's stop putting it off. Enough chat, let's react. Picking between Norway and Sweden is going to be like choosing between kids. I don't have kids, so songs is the next best thing. Let's go. Here we go, 2010-20, Norway versus Sweden. I'll try not to be brutal. No promises. Oh, I remember this one. Oh, it's a bit pitchy. I don't remember that. That choir, so cheesy. <laughs> oh, but then we have, they're both ballads. The whole atmosphere here and the vibe is just a lot better than Norway. She's so, oh, um, okay, Sweden. Sorry, it's just more memorable, I think, and it's more current. The other one was a bit dated. Haba, haba. This was so different for Norway. Gutted it didn't qualify. Party, I love it. And then we have popular. Mm, okay, I've got a jacket just like that, not even lying. These are so strong. Okay, controversial opinion, I'm picking Norway. Don't come for me, that was just so different. It was cultural, it was a party anthem. Norway. Oh, stay. Nice high note, a little bit off. I love his whole vibe, very current. Is it a competition? Strong vocal, strong stage presence. Laureen all the way, that was perfect, sublime. One of my favorite entries ever. No competition there for me, I'm afraid. What's next? Oh, there's something off with this beat. Not sure about this one. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm such a Swedish boy. Robin gets my vote. Literally, I think if I belong to a country, it's Norway or Sweden, but at the moment it looks like Sweden. No competition there. I thought that was really modern. It had a really, it had an edge. Electro pop. Oh, I remember this. This really tugged on the heartstrings. And then we have this. Vocals in this are sublime. There's so much emotion. All of the inflections are kind of like a yodel sound, but they're not, they're just emotive. Sweden for me again. I'm actually finding this a bit easier than I thought I would. Is that bad? But no, Sweden. 
Ah, uh, okay. This one was such a fan favourite, but personally, not my bag. Not my cup of tea. I don't think their voices gel very well together. The song's good, but then when you compare it to Heroes, the winner of the competition, I feel like he's got so much more charisma, attitude, personality. But I think Monster and Me, the, the vocals didn't mash together. There was something missing from the performance, in my opinion. It was a good song in its own right, though. Oh, I loved this one. Another non-qualifier I'm absolutely devoted about. Great vo power vocals, it's power ballad. Great staging, like the lights. <sighs> this one ain't for me, I'm afraid. There's something in this song that doesn't sit right with me. I think it's the jaunty beat. It's not quite, the melody isn't there for me. So Norway for me for this one. You're clawing it back, Norway, yes! <laughs> Here we go, grab the moment. I like his um, outfit. It's kind of got this artistry about him, but it doesn't quite match the staging. It's a bit... I can't go on when you look this freaking beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. No competition. I loved that song. I'm still obsessed with it. It's still on my playlist. Sweden again. Sorry, Norway, but come on. Oh. Let's say you're out of soul. Again, great staging is a great like personality, but he tarnished his legacy for me with this song. Loved it. I loved everything about this. People throw hate at me because, of, oh, it's so cheesy, it's tacky, it's generic. But I loved it. It's a floor filler. I think it's a great dance, contagious beat. It's got a good hook to it. Sweden again. Sorry. Oh, John Lundvik. He had the audience eating at the palm of his hand. I love the gospel element. I love his personality. He's so happy. Is it? Versus Norway and Spirit in the Sky. Oh, this is the hardest one! Oh. Norway, Norway, you're having it. Sorry, that, that's the most difficult one. Spirit in the Sky has it. Typical Europop for me, love it. This is a moment. We all love an emotional ballad, don't we? And her vocals just come from nowhere. And the mamas move. Oh. Ah, um, attention, attention has it. Sorry, in my top, I think I put mamas ahead of attention, but the longer that I've had to sit on it, I think attention, everything about it, aesthetically, the emotion, it just, I think it trumps all over move now. <sighs> I am like a yo-yo. I'm up, I'm down, I'm up, I'm down. <sighs> oh my God, that was so difficult. Why did I start this series with Norway versus Sweden? That was such a bad move. But overall, I can reveal that my winner is Sweden. What can I say? I just love the bops. The most difficult one for sure was John Lundvik and Kino. They're both such anthems and they're so different, but to me, I think Kino just had the edge because the song was everything that Eurovision is to me. It encapsulates everything that we love about Eurovision. The Europop element, the cultural element, and the Sami way of singing. It was just epic. It was everything you could hope for. And they gave the fans what they wanted. Televote winners! Anyway, that's my dilemma all finished. I don't have to worry about that ever again. Whew. But that's just what I thought. What did you guys think? Please let me know who is your winner from 2010 to 2020, Norway or Sweden? I would love to know your opinions because it's the diversity in this competition that makes it so amazing. And before you shoot off anywhere, don't forget to give this video a great big thumbs up if you found that decision just as difficult as I did. 
That was a bit traumatic, actually. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell notification button. So then you can keep up to date with all the videos that I have to bring you. What two countries should I pit off against each other next? I dread to think what you're actually going to say. And if you guys fancy it, don't forget to check out my music on Spotify and iTunes right now. Closed heart, dry eyes. I would love to know your opinions on my music. Anyway, all that's left for me to say is thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support. And please look after yourselves. Take care in these tough times. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody. Take care. My last night to read.